Alright guys, I just want to do a quick little video on some of the meat that I get from the meat market. I mean, this is this is a 40 quart um, stainless steel tub. Okay, I'll show you what I got. Some of the stuff. Some of the, you know, um, some of the cold cuts. I don't have to. I don't have to cook that. That's already cooked. I could just grind that up and put that in bags. I usually put it through. Uh, I got a nice heavy duty grinder here that I use. It's a one and a half horse. I mean, this thing. This thing's a. This thing's an animal. What I'll do is I'll cook all this stuff up. Gives me all kinds of stuff, all kinds of meat, and you know, look at this look at this piece of meat right here. He says this thing's worth a lot of money. It's just been in the freezer for a long time, so I'll just cook it up. I mean, I'll just boil all this stuff. This is all bones and stuff. I'll boil, pull the meat off, and throw the bones right in the run. Um, you know, sausages and hamburg, uh, you know, chicken. I don't know, whatever that is, some kind of patty. I'll just boil, you know, chicken wings like this. I mean, I just boil that up and throw that right through the grinder when it comes out. We can't even tell. Uh, and these chickens will just... I mix this stuff with their feed. I mean, uh, this I usually put like four bags a day in with their feed. Look at this stuff. I mean, this stuff will... I'll just, I'll just fill this with water. It's all chicken. Um, all kinds of stuff. I'll just cover that with water and boil it, boil a, boil the shit out of it, and then I'll um, let it cool, and I'll put it through the grinder, and the bones, I'll, the bones I'll separate, and uh, I'll throw them in the run. They'll chow them, they'll chow every piece of fat off them bones. Look at this, this is this is sixty quarts. This is all one day, one Saturday. I mean, this is a lot of a lot of fat and meat in here, but um, I'll put this in separate bags. I don't know if you could see it, but that's uh. That's 60 quarts. I mean, that's a big pan. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there. A lot of, basically a lot of fat, but there's, there's meat with it. And I'll, uh, I'll put that in separate bags and we'll, we'll mix that in with their feed too. I mean, these guys, these guys eat well. Look at all that stuff. What I'm going to do is just cover this stuff with water and just boil the shit out of it for a couple hours and then... Let it cool and I'll grind it. I'll show you how much, how many bags I get out of it. There's a lot, of, a lot of meat in there. A lot of good stuff in there. It's all for the chicken. All chicken feed. Save, save me on my feed bill. All right, guys, that's a lot of protein, man. Yeah. I mean, that thing's they're full of water. And just turn them on and let them got 60 quart and that's 40 quart. I mean, that's a lot of stuff there. We'll turn it on and we'll let it rock and roll. The front one here. And just let them go. Turn on the thing. Obviously, I don't just give them this. I mix it with there. I'll show you what I give them. I got a refrigerator down here that's just for the chickens. I got another freezer downstairs, but yeah, you can see, you know, this is some of the stuff. If I got any extra eggs, I'll grind up the eggs to a hot boil and just throw them through the grinder. Shells and all, I mean. So, any eggs that are, you know, a couple of weeks old, I'll just, I'll just hot boil them and throw them through the grinder. Uh, you know, this is some of the stuff here. Yeah, this is all the stuff, like, from uh, the deli, all the deli meats. And, uh, that's a freezer. I got another freezer downstairs starting to fill up too. And then this is the stuff I'll, you know, I'll give them during the day. I'll give you give them four bags. Sometimes I'll give them a couple of bags of eggs and uh, a couple of bags of this stuff. And you know, if it's if it's if it's got a little fat in it, and I need to uh, warm it up in the microwave to heat it up a little. I will do that. But I usually, you know, this is all protein. What I'll do, and then I get lettuce scraps from the guy too. Um, this is this is just from one day Saturday. I got three. I got five bags. I mean, that's the two and a half gallon bag. I mean, that's stuffed with lettuce scraps, lettuce, tomatoes, celery, uh, celery cucumbers, all that type of stuff. And I'll, I usually give them like a bag and a half. Grind up a bag and a half of this stuff. Uh, that's that's two and a half gallons. So two bags is five gallons. 
I usually, uh, you know, sometimes I'll do two bags, and I'll usually do four bags of the protein. And then I put, you know, then I, that's about half of what I give them. Then I give them lamb pellets, I give them corn, wheat, oats, uh, oyster shells, um, you know, then I mix all that. I put like four, four scoops of, four big scoops of, uh, uh, five big scoops of lamb pellets, you know, and then I give them oats, wheat, corn, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. And I mix all that up. So it's not just protein I'm giving them, you know, I'm giving them all that other stuff. So these guys eat good. These guys eat good. Around four o'clock, I give them bread. I give them, uh, I, got, I give them two bags of bread. Uh, about four o'clock for a snack. Plus they got lamb pellets in, in their uh, coop if they need lamb pellets. A lot of people just give them lamb pellets, but I give them all this other stuff. I got another freezer down here is usually where I put mine. You can see, but this is where the other all the meat's gonna go. I usually put the meat in here from uh, all week, and then the weekend I'll cook it. So I usually put the meat in here, freeze it all week, cause I go I go to the let I go get lettuce scraps every day, uh, you know, in the meat scraps and stuff. I'll put them in here. This one here is for my bread. This is getting low. I need to go get some more more bread, but usually I try to keep this thing full of bread. It's all it's all pulled apart, ready to rock and roll. And what I'll do is uh, I usually put a couple of bags out here the day before to defrost. So once I use those bags there today, I'll bring these out there and I'll put two frozen ones here to defrost. This is for the chicks in the basement. This stuff here, I give, give the chicks some some bread too for a snack. At the end of the day, they like the bread. All right, guys. Later in the day, here I got the uh, these are 16 quart containers, you know, and obviously I have to pull all the bones out and stuff before I put it through. But you know, I got three containers here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it through the chooch. There's all the uh, you no know, ham and all the stuff from the uh, deli. This is my grinder right here, and this is how to put a little handle on there. I got this thing cheap, but I had to put a little. I mean, this thing's an animal. Whatever I put in there, got a five gallon bucket there. I'll probably have to use a couple of five gallon buckets, but this thing will take it. That's the baby dog, man. Yeah, we'll give it the old gun there. They're gonna eat good this week, Mama. Like I said, I'll do is I'll grind this up, freeze all this stuff, and take it out of there. Get the scraps. So one and a half horse grinder. An old new for like a thousand bucks, twelve hundred bucks. I got this one for like three hundred. I went and I separated all the bones. I mean, I had to let it cool off for a while. Just later in the day, you know. Uh, I'm doing stuff all day and let it cool off. And here's all the bones. And I had to shut it off because it was too hot to pull the bones out. But I'm ready to rock and roll again. And uh, I'll probably get a couple of five gallon buckets worth of um, meat. This one's basically, you know, a lot of fat in it. But there's meat there too. But. Kind of like bacon set up, you know. They'll chow that stuff down. Are you kidding me? Mix that in with their feed and...
be gone in 10 minutes. <laughs> Most of the bones I took out, but there's a little couple of bones in there. This thing will grind up bones, are you kidding me? Chicken bones or whatever. I mean, this thing's an animal. You know, I don't have to use this stuff all, you know, in a week, whatever. I use it whenever I can. I'll freeze it up and use it when I can. Chickens and duck needs about, they need about 20% uh, protein in their diet, so this won't go bad. They don't have 20%, uh, 16%, 20% protein, they won't lay eggs. Well, see, and I'm giving them all the lettuce scraps and the wheat and the oats and all that stuff, you know, I need to give them protein also. It's definitely a good run for this week. Uh, definitely got a good run this week with protein. Put it this way, I got more more stuff than I can feed the chickens. Put it that way, so backing up. I mean, this grind is an animal. There's nothing I've ever put in there that it wouldn't take. So. Gandhi mama. Shit. Yeah, man. The old Gandhi. This is the one that had a lot of the fat in it, but this, you guys would chow this stuff down, I mean. They need, they need, uh, they need fat in their diet too, you know. They're gonna go on a keto diet, mama. Nick Lil. Yo. Be Nick Lil. Oh, you're gonna give me some tongue action. You're gonna give me some tongue action. Chickens are gonna eat good this week, mama. Oh yeah. I'll freeze all this stuff and then I'll, you know, take it out and 
put in the refrigerator as I need it. It comes apart real easy to clean. I just rinse it out. Be ready to rock and roll for the next job next week. Alright guys, I got what, three and a half containers here of the meat. I just have to put it in the bags now, Ziploc bags, and, and throw it in the freezer. It's kind of a process, you know, do what you can. Uh, but usually do it on a Sunday, get it done, put it in the freezer, and use it up during the week. Probably won't be able to use all this, you know, in one week, there's no doubt about it, but I'll use it up. Oh yeah, next level. Next level, y'all. You mopped that plate right up. Oh yeah, you did. Oh yeah, you you mopped up that plate. All right, guys. I got 24 bags of the protein here. I mean, that's a quart bag, and it's it's stuffed. So that's uh 24 bags. I'll throw that in the freezer and I'll use that up as I need it. Uh, I usually give them like four bags a day, mixing with all the lettuce scraps and all the other stuff I give them corn, wheat, oats, sunflower seeds, and, uh, all the other stuff I give them. It, it adds up to about, you know, 20% uh, protein in their diet. So it's all free. Just a little bit of work to process it all, but. It's all good. It's all good meat. You know, some of the stuff's a little on the fatty side, but once you mix it all with the stuff, it's uh, they need they need some fat in their diet anyway. That's why they look so nice. It's good for their feathers and everything. So, all right, guys. I don't know if you can see, but I'm a couple of I'm a couple of layers deep there in the freezer, so. 
That's fine. We'll use it up. Winter's coming, so we don't need this stuff. If it's free, it's for me, Mama. Oh man, no Nick level, Nick level, Nick level, y'all. I got another freezer here that I got all my bread in, but that's usually the one I keep the extra extra protein in. We use it up, no problem. Yeah, see all here's all the bones here. What I'll do is um I'll throw them in the in the the run tomorrow morning in some containers and they'll they'll chow down every possible piece of meat and fat off them bones. There'll be nothing left. I mean the chickens will go for that before anything else. Oh, man. Oh, I want the egg. 